Cool. We're rolling. So, Chris, first and foremost, congratulations on winning the, the Spotlight interview this month. Um, you were one of the first people to join the Patreon group, and you've been one of the most active as well. So I thank you for that. And uh, we're going to get to learn a little bit more about you and your build today. Um, you want to kind of give a background on who you are, where you're from, and um, your kind of involvement in the car scene? Um, I've been living in Pensacola, Florida since I was two. Um, basically grew up here my whole life. I did six years in the Marine Corps. Uh, came back here, currently living at home. Um, I always loved cars. Ever since my first car, I've always been in detailing cars. I detail cars on the side. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, gotcha. I'm not what else much to say. Sure, sure. Are there a lot of shows going on in uh, Pensacola? Yeah, there's uh, about three or two or three weekly that go on. Oh, cool. All right. Kind of local meets or just uh, or actual yeah. car shows? Yeah. Awesome. Mainly awesome. just local meets. Sometimes the meets are funner than the car shows, honestly. Um, yeah, there's not many car shows, but just local meets in general. Okay. Cool, cool. And why uh, why the S550 Mustang? Why'd you choose that car? Um, I've always loved, mu always loved Mustangs. Okay. Uh, never had a V8. I'm, in the past, I've had little four-cylinder turbos and tuned them up and all this, you know, whatever you can do to them. Okay. And uh, I just want a V8, so I went with the S550 Mustang, the 5.0. Nice, nice. Very good choice, very good choice. I still have not... Uh, Owned a 5.0. I went from a V6 Mustang to a uh, Corvette, so straight to the 6.2. But I do want to get a 5.0. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, I had driven, I had driven faster cars, but just hadn't owned it. Um, so you've always been a Mustang guy. Yeah, pretty much. My dad's always been a Mustang fan, so I think that's why I've always been. Uh, leaning towards the Mustang. I love the Camaros. I love the Chargers and Challengers. Don't get me wrong, but I just wanted the Mustang. Absolutely. And what have you done to yours? I'm going to – somewhere in here, I'll put up some pictures of uh, your vehicle. But what, what have you done to it? Uh, well, when I started out, I did a muffler delete. It's the first thing I did. Okay. And then I went with the uh, Ford Power Pack 2, which is the GT350's throttle body intake and a tune from Ford Performance. Okay. And uh, after that was a X pipe oh. by Mishimoto. And uh, after that was MSD cool packs and the uh, NGK Iridium IX plugs. Plugs, yep. And um, I did a CNL um, mass airflow sensor. Okay. And uh, that's. Basically, it. I did some exterior mods like the Raxium hail lights with uh, air vents and the Raxium uh, reverse light. Sure. But um, that's about it so far. Okay. And what year is yours? 2016. 2016. Okay. So you put you putting a little bit of money into it since you got it for sure. Uh, yeah, definitely. Why uh, Why the Ford Performance too? It seems like everything you've done in the car has been pretty. Um, I would say down the right path, so to speak, kind of, you did it the clean way. Like a lot of times people will, um, do, you know, like a Borla exhaust and they'll do like a crazy custom tune and stuff like that. Why did you kind of build it the way you built it with the Ford performance? Is it cause you got to keep the warranty and stuff like that? Or what was your kind of strategy there? Well, I only have 8,000 miles in the car right now, about oh. 8,500 to be exact. Okay. And so I want to do the Ford Power Pack 2 installed by an ASD certified tech to keep the warranty. Gotcha. So that's, I would go with more aggressive tune. Yeah. Um, but I've wanted to keep the warranty on it so far. That makes a, that makes a lot of sense. And you, you haven't driven it too much either. Only 80 no, miles no. on it. Okay. Um, and have you put it on a dyno yet or no? Not yet. Uh, no, I haven't put on a dyno. But I would guesstimate, based on other people's dinos, about 415, 420 to the wheels. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good, given uh, the mods that you've done, for sure. 
what uh what future plans do you have? I know we kind of talked about it uh in the group, but what um what would you like to do to it next? I would like to do a uh Paxton supercharger kit on or pro charger kit rather. Okay. Um but other than that, I built it pretty much towards supercharge. Gotcha. I've got headers sitting under my bed right now. Okay. That I haven't put on because they they uh, call for a custom tune. Perfect. So I'm waiting until my warranty expires. Do anything more aggressive. Gotcha. To it. And what kind of what kind of headers did you go with? They are actually eBay headers. Okay. They're uh, daddies, and there's a uh, guy on Instagram who has been running them for about three to five years and who's not been able to break them or, you know, uh, ruin them. Okay. Okay. So you, you, you went the eBay route, but you did your research beforehand. Yes, definitely. Okay, cool. Um, headers. I actually installed the headers on my S550 V6 when I had it. And, um, it was, it was about a day and a half install for me. But um, I didn't think they were too, too bad to do. Definitely something you could do on your own if you wanted to. But like you said, you do definitely need the custom chain for it, for sure. Yeah, definitely. That's um, why I'm waiting. But they, they made they made a huge difference on the 3.7. So I know on the 5.0, it would be night and day for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. And what about what about gdc why did you uh what attracted you to the company and the group and everything well i've uh, been following the gdc for a while and uh, i've always wanted to wreck the stickers i like the deer head okay. in them yeah and uh i finally went ahead and just joined up for or signed up for the patron okay. account and got the free stickers so i uh, went ahead and put them on my car and that's basically it i really love the deer head look Okay. On the series. Awesome. So. Appreciate that. Um, and what could you tell uh, everybody watching this interview uh, about the, the group in general, about the Discord group and everything like that? Um, I mean, everyone seems very not no matter what it is. Um, I've seen people on there with, you know, four-cylinder builds, six-cylinder builds, and everyone seems very supportive, and uh, they try possible on the on the build no matter what it is so that's why i like it so much because no one there's no haters on there right all right try, try to keep it uh try to keep it in a spot where we're all supporting each other's builds and helping each other out and giving advice and stuff like that so i appreciate the feedback on that where can people find you are you on instagram facebook youtube uh, i'm on my instagram uh currently underscore chris and then on Facebook, just my name, Christopher Falk, okay. uh, or Chris Falk. Okay. Um, you can add me whenever. So. Cool, cool. And any plans for a YouTube channel in the future? Or are you, you kind of? I'm not sure about the YouTube channel. Okay. Um, I'd like to. I really uh, am awkward in front of a camera. Sure. So I don't know how I feel about it okay. being in the front of a camera all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing I will tell you is the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it. It's kind of everyone's nervous about it at first. Yeah, I bet. Um, cool. And you're the most active on what, Instagram? Yeah, definitely Instagram is where I post most of my vehicle stuff and car detailing stuff and mods to my Mustang. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put your Instagram down below in the description of this video. And um, that way everybody can go follow you, things like that. I appreciate your time, Chris. Uh, this has been good, insightful. And uh, we will uh, try to get a lot more active in the group and um, do some big things. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely.